Hello, everybody. Hotaska here. Another game for it. This game is called Conscience. Let's do it to it. Content warning. This game contains disturbing imagery. Depicts of self harm. A small fraction of people may experience seizures when exposed to certain lights, patterns, or images in the game, even with no previous history of epilepsy or seizures. All right. Pick a phone. <clears throat> Jack speaking. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Pat? Pat, is that you? What's wrong? God, how did everything come to this? Oh God. Oh God. Pat. Oh God. Pat, what the hell is going on? Are you hurt? What's wrong? Jack, I... Uh, oh God. Jack, I... I don't know what to do. I was going to, but then Steve was, and Laura was, and the freezer. Oh fuck. Pat, what the hell? The did something happen to Laura? To my Where's mic. Steve? Is Laura safe? No, 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 she's safe. Everything's wrong, and I told her not to go in there. And then now she's cold, and it's all my fault. My baby, my little baby. I can't, I can't. I, I, I need to go. I, I, I can fix this. I, I can, I, I can. Where is Laura? Is she okay? Are you okay? Pat, what is? Pat, Pat, I. Fuck. I'm Pat and Laura. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, I put on drag. Okay. okay. Currently looks real good. Zoom? Is there a zoom? Oh, there's a zoom. Okay. Veterans Affair meeting in town hall. Monday, right? Let's check the messages. Leave a message after the beep. Hello? Steve? It's Patricia. I, I'm here at Jack's, and I, I just realized how late it's gotten. Um, I haven't heard anything from you. Is everything all right? Is, I mean... Is Laura in her room or in her bed? You haven't taken out the, I mean, I don't want to nag you, Steve. I just, you know, I, I'd really rather you didn't drink when Laura's in the house. And no, wow. I'm sorry, that's nagging, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be home in an hour. So just, uh, I'll, I'll be home soon. All right, so. She's out and about currently, I guess. So that's an old message. I don't know where she's at now. Cool picture. All right. But I picked up this tape. Let's see what's up. Then are you ready for lesson number two? Yeah. Good. So the next time Daddy, um... Drinks the booze. His special juice. Yeah. Booze. <laughs> so next time when that happens, and if lesson number one doesn't work, and you can't play hide and seek... And Daddy locks the door. And Daddy locks the door. And those. Mommy will teach you how to open the door again with a hairpin. Do you have yours? Yep. So first we put it in the lock. Twist it here to the right until we hear it click. And it's open. My turn. My turn. All right. Let's practice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to skip that. Let's check these doors out here real quick. You know what I mean? Locked. All right. Okay. And you are locked. So we have no choice but to head this way into the dark. T T T T T T. Don't do that now. Okay. All right, so far so good. Laura, okay, all right. Got a little bit of porridge here. Oh, another tape. Let's go back and check it out. Okay, 
Okay, honey, come out, come out wherever you are. Where could she be? <coughs> what a master criminal we have. Is she here? Hmm, maybe here. So that's what we're doing right now, hide and seek? Why is it so dark over there? Oh right no! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, blow my damn candle! Are you crazy? Honey, you have to be careful. What if you got locked inside? Hi, Mom. Good God. Okay, lesson number three. Even when we play hide and seek with Daddy, we don't hide in here. Is that understood? Laura, is that understood? Yes, Mom. Good. Okay. Can we go in here though? All right, cool. So we just ran through the kitchen, it seems. Lower's bedroom, master bedroom, kitchen, laundry. So these lights are on and it's and they're fuzzy. So they're still working. So if we took this out of Laura's bedroom, right? And, and put it in the kitchen. Oh yeah. What's this? Hands up and get lower and now my baby is crying again. I still don't have that code. A code. What is this code? Today was not a good day. Steve skipped one of his meetings again. And I only found out when Mrs. Smith called the house asking for him. When I asked about it from Steve, I really shouldn't have asked. I'm fine when he is angry at me, but he always what? And I see a hand here. That's not a good sign. I took Laura out for a park today. We had a wonderful time and Laura played with other children. I think it's good for her being able to play with others, not being stuck in that house all the time, stuck in that room. Steve was not home when we got back and God, it gave me time to wash off all the dirt and Laura's clothes. I'm always so terrified of him getting angry at her. This dude got ridiculous issues. Did I close this? Oh, it's locked. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. The kitchen is the left one, derp. Why is it, like, why is it so dark? Yes? Yes. What we got? The Law's birthday. Law's birthday was a day. I believe she had fun. Jack invited her over for some uncle needs bonding time. Once uh Steve started getting tired and angry. Oh, Steve, okay. He is uh he is, despite everything, a good brother and honestly a wonderful uncle. Okay. What's up with everybody getting mad all the time? Y'all retarded. Laura certainly seems to think so. I thought sometimes I wish he would take me out of this house too. I'll start by looking for that code. I know it's here somewhere. I did it. I found the code and of course it was in the most unlikely place. And yet exactly where he told me to go. And of course is that date. This is the first step to freedom. I need to meet with Jack. Dispatch day anniversary. Okay. What we got since it's already open. Oh, this is really interactive. Like you can open everything. Okay. As long as I can open everything, I'm going to. You never can, you know, never can tell. You might find a clue oh boy hmm all yeah, right wait a minute is that is there anything worth grabbing in here because I don't want to leave and miss something. Oh, 
All right, let's walk around real quick. Locked. Locked. Open. And with a chain. So we have a code to something, right? The study. So what's this code for? Cheese. Stuff. Did I miss something? All right, so we searched the kitchen. <laughs> Nothing. All right, so laundry room. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I knew it was coming. <sighs> Thank you. All right, let's go laundry room. Is there something in here that we missed? Because this is definitely laundry room. I don't see anything. Lord's bedroom. Let's check out this. What do we have? All the toilet fees and the goodies. Oh, key. Key to the study room. All right, cool. This one? No. Laura's bedroom. So it's that door. We don't need... Uh, let's go to Laura's bedroom. Because we can walk past this room and this room. If we walk straight... Won't blow our candle out. All right, cool. So this one. Ooh. What happened to you? Steve locked Laura into a room again. He's so angry. What am I supposed to do? My baby keeps crying and I can't get to her. And that blasted key is in that new safe of his. I need to find the code. Isn't it? Two four nine. I think it's two four nine. Whoop whoop whoop. Wrong way. Two. I know last was nine. Was it um four? It was four. And this key to Laura's. Why? 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 Old Pawthon six shooter, a gun. Yeah, we don't need that. But you, my boy. You ain't make it. And got your neck broken in the process. So we already put the key. I mean, the light in Lord's bedroom. So what we got? No, 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 I'm stuck. <sighs> Couldn't be real life. I'd have kicked the shit out of that toy. I just said I was going to stop cussing too, just before I started playing this game. Lesson three of piano. Can I open you? What is this? All right, let's check out um 
this tape. What is in here? Master bedroom. Honey, lesson one. The fucking bitch of a brother was at the bar. Jack? No, fucking Jeremiah. Yes, Jack. And that bitch got me kicked out. Kicked out? This doesn't sound like Jack. Oh, so, so you're calling me a liar? No, no, that's not what I meant. I, I just... You just... Just shut the fuck up. You think I'm a useless bum of a drunk too, right? No, no, I... I he said that because he already believed he is. He already believed he is. Where, where, where the fuck is she anyway? Uh, she's, she's out. But, but Steve, I would never turn her fucking against you. figures you'd be a liar too. Laura! Steve, wait! Laura! God, Steve, I hope for your sake you're either sleeping or dead. Because if you're just lying in a puddle of whiskey and your own sick again, when Pat is racing through the city to get home, I'm actually going to give you a shiner next time we meet. Get your life together, man. Because my sister deserves someone better than a sad drunk for a husband. That message will send the dude that's already messed up in the head over the edge to do something stupid. Before you even get there, you have to watch your mouth sometimes. And there's booze. What is this? Oh. Uh, we'll see. We miss you the, um, these past couple of meetings at Town Hall. If you're busy, I completely understand. But in case you're keeping away from other reasons, I thought I'd contact just in case. I know you might not think it helps to talk or even that all of what we do is hopeless. But I promise you it's not. Talking things through with other men who have been through the same hell as you might be difficult. But I'm telling you, it gets easier. A burden shared is a burden half, as they say never heard of that in any case i hope to see you back at the meeting soon okay but what's in here nothing do we need anything else from this guy yeah we've seen your face is busted buddy Oh, she came from in here. Light to the master bedroom. No way. We are the drunken, um, husband. Is like already in here. So what are we looking for? It's to break this door down. No way. Pat, 
Open the door. Can you hear me? Pat, Steve, Laura, someone open the door. I'm calling the coppers if you don't. Pat, Pat, are you okay? Open the door. How did he end up on the floor busted like that? Oh no. But she took her own. She took her own way out. Wow. Wow, man, there you have it, conscience. Um, Bad time for jokes, but when I first seen this word, I thought it said conscience. <laughs> um, but all jokes aside, uh, you know, when you when you're in a bad relationship, man, that's that's especially somebody that's abusive. From what I've experienced through my life, you know, it's it's harder. To, it's it's much easier to say I can get out get out of it than to actually leave you know because <sighs> if you're some shit call somebody absolutely um the graphics and the storyline is good well made good good job with that being said I, i'm fantastic this is conscience <laughs>